Hey guys, this is Kami Ken, and I'm back with part two of my look back video through all the art that I've created in the past. Um, I'm taking a dig through this box and we'll see what's in the binders, which I mentioned in the previous video. And here we go. Okay, these are the binders holding the oldest created works that I have. In fact, this one is the oldest, holding, actually, I don't even know. I haven't uh, looked at it in a long time. Actually, let me open it. Wow, 1999, I was three years old. Yeah, that's me. So this is all the uh, coloring stuff that I did. I didn't even, it wasn't me that saved these. It was actually my mom. 1998, this is crazy. And that's my <laughs> system. Wow. Man, he's crying. Yeah, I was just coloring with no no regard for human life. It was just whatever, you know? No thinking, no thought to it. It was just drawn for its own sake or doing whatever project they had in class. It would be all mixed in. My, um, it was actually my mom who taught us at home for the longest time. So we'd have uh, a bunch of uh, coloring books and all that kind of stuff, projects, before we went off to uh, kinder care, um, preschool, and eventually uh, kindergarten. So yeah, that's what that first thing is like. This one, actually, I don't, I don't know the dates of these three binders. So we'll see what's lurking inside. I'm actually kind of scared to open these. That's, I haven't opened them at all, even before the video. So it's just like, I don't know what's gonna be inside. Okay, so here, I hope it's not any like silverfish or anything. Let me see what this is. Just mail. What's that? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so these are a couple of old drawings of my old main character Marley, um, which I, I guess I printed them out. And I would just draw old school assignments and all that. Okay. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there's a bunch of flakes and stuff that you have to come out of this thing. Okay, so these are assignments and I drew on the back of them. Yep, I would draw on the back of everything just using whatever scrap of paper I could possibly use. This I am thing, I was working out this drawing that I did for a, a member of my church a long time ago. Scad, yeah, I was trying to get into Scad at first. That was actually my first choice in terms of college. A long time ago. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, these are studies from Jaime Hernandez and the guy who did uh, Spiro, the French comic. I was actually trying to copy the exact lines that they were doing to see if I could replicate them some way. Yeah. Wow. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, this is probably from that time I got into uh, Mobius, because I was trying to copy those lines as well. And this was back when I just had time to do whatever, whenever, for as long as I wanted. And I was copying, trying to draw candy and all that stuff. I was just doing studies all the time back then. It was just study, 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 study. Try to figure out how art works how coloring works, light and shade, and just working things out on paper. Whatever they're, like whatever paper I had available to me was what I used, so. 
and I'd look online, I'd see artists that I'd like, and then copy them too. Some of these are on my Demon art actually, but most of them were too sparse to even like put on there. But I'm not gonna go through this entire thing. This is just all the art that I wanted to keep. Thousands, it's gotta be thousands of pages of just nonsense. <clears throat> Nonsense and sketches and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's from the comic book I did. The first story I finished. Let me see if there's anything else going for me. Oh yeah, I kept these uh, Sunday papers that my mom used to fold for me after we got them. of art. Oh shit, mm -hmm. that's air riding. Yeah, that's probably one of the first drawings of air rider from years and years ago. I don't even know when I first did that. It was just a story or an idea in my mind at the time. If I look through this sketchbook, I could probably find other drawings of them, but... Yeah, that must have been back from one of the first drawings. Let's see, yeah, that's another thing. That's another drawing of Air Rider. But his logo is on his hat. That's a little different. Interesting. Wow. Oh, and here's a drawing where I was trying to, I was trying to capture that, if you know anything about liminal spaces, I was trying to capture that feeling with this this um, drawing, but I I didn't know about the word. I didn't the, the word wasn't cataloged into uh, mainstream conscience consciousness back then. I was just trying to capture a feeling that I felt in in different pieces of art back then. Um, like I like things with weird atmosphere and uh, spacing. So I tried to uh, mimic that one of our kids. Hey, there's Krillin. There's Krillin. And what else? I think that might be a drawing of Eric on somebody else. Yeah, that's also Eric from early on, early days Eric. The main character of my story. some technology or whatever I just like basic shapes so it's hard for me to do like technology and stuff oh yeah I was trying to copy that <laughs> that Capullo cover uh, from Batman uh, Court of Owls the start of the that that run spend the whole video on just this uh, sketchbook, but damn, I'd actually like to take a look back on my own and just see what's going on in there. Uh, I 
guess I was attempting to draw the Hulk with my current um, uh, anatomy knowledge at the time. Okay. Cool. I'll leave this one alone. This one alone. Put it off to the side. And let's, let's see which one next. Let's go with this one. This one is probably let's see. Is the second oldest or the oldest? No, I think this might be the oldest. Yes. Okay, this one actually has what contained what is contained in the first video on my channel at least i'm sure it does. um so we'll go into this one first and then get into that good lord this one what does it contain it just contains sketchbooks and a lot of copy paper oh anyway bird just kind of Jumped on a chair. Anyways. Yeah. Sketches. Sketches and sketches. I would just draw anatomy and try to figure it out. Make it work in my own mind. For years. And people were telling me online, like, hey, you're doing a lot of sketches, but... Not a lot of finished work. We gotta see some finished work if you're gonna work as a professional. I'm like, I know, but I gotta get good first, you know? Like I gotta practice. I'm studying uh, perspective, I'm trying to work that out. On the other side is this drawing. I had Marley fight this uh, sort of slime monster. And I was learning a lot from, I think, John Romita Sr. And those uh, old Spider-Man comics to try to figure out, like, shading and lighting on legs and stuff. I like the, those styles. Of sketches, thousands and thousands of pages of sketches, just trying to figure out perspective and anatomy, all the basics you would ever consider when making art. Oh, and this was a study. This took like I don't know how long, a day. I thought I had to measure everything exactly, especially like brick walls and such. I just needed to understand how they worked so I could. Uh, replicate it and uh, continue creating stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get to these characters one day. Like I'm actually gonna draw up their story. In this, I was trying to draw my room, actually. Yeah, I was, uh, Trying to draw my old room in the exact proportion and measuring it out and all that stuff. The actual square footage of the room from a specific angle. And then I tried doing it from a different angle. I actually did measure out my room. And that's what it, it used to... Oh, I mean, I don't know if this is the exact, exact measurement, but... I didn't know I went that hard <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to study all this uh, perspective stuff to even go and measure my room and all that. I learned all my perspective stuff from this book called uh, Perspective Drawing for, for, for Comics by David Chelsea. So that's what, um, that's what really taught me everything I know about it. And I do all these uh, studies and projections about how to do perspective and all that. And I just do that all day for going through the entire book, trying to figure it out. And that's how I learned that. Now I just kind of do it off the top of my head 
based on whatever I need for the scene that I'm working on. And I don't focus on it too much. And there's no way I can really uh, get it down. Study this in depth anymore. I was studying this uh, panel from this manga I was reading. And that's what I uh, brought this about. first getting into watercolor trying to figure out how colors work and how uh, how it actually reacted on the page and these sketchbooks what were these sketchbooks about I mean I guess I would just label them with my name and just to uh, make sure that I stole them or whatever but another sketch of Eric from back in the day he had names and stuff that's crazy Wow. I mean, I already knew I'd been drawing them since I was like 17, but to actually see old drawings of him, I only thought I did like maybe one or two sketches of him, but I didn't know it was really like that. That's crazy. Did I ever finish these sketchbooks? Even if I didn't, uh, there's no way I'd go back in and start drawing them again. Wow. used to be like goofballs back then. That's crazy. In June. Did I even have her? Was she even black back then? I think she was different. She wasn't. Yo. Yeah, these are all the main characters from the past. The past version of Air Rider. That's his first, maybe not his first design, but that was one of his first designs. That's how Eric looked. He looked more, uh, he had a seriousness about him, but he was also like different, just way different. This is, this is Colton, but he wasn't named Colton back then. And this is June, but she wasn't, she wasn't even Jack, like her last name is Jackson, but she wasn't even black back then. That's crazy, whoa. And this is another character. I uh, shortened her name to Tammy, but her, yeah, her full name is Tammy. That's insane. This is all past. Oh, yeah, Colton had a bigger brother, but he was different, and the whole story was different. That's insane. Wow. And this is me trying to actually design the character. Should the arrow go down, or should the arrow go up? to make it go up and have him give him a, a twin tail um, long red scarf and give him green pants but I didn't know how the pants should be or if he should wear boots or whatever but, you know, it was just, this is when I was designing this is when I first wrote out the story and that's his uh, I knew I'd give him an aviator cap and yeah wow I guess this is the first book where he existed. What was this about? I don't even know what this is. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Wow, that looks cool. Wow. Yeah, this is early air. from back when I first concepted the story. I wrote it down in a notebook, sketched it out. Just, it was on my mind. So any story that I, I, I was coming up with at the time, I would just draw characters from that story as if I was about to um, create it. Man, those are pretty dope. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's him again. I must have been watching Gintama at this time too. So it was like Gintama Jr. was not 
white. Whoa, she was not black before. Wow, yeah, she was white. Um, yeah, I was basing a lot of this from Danny Phantom as well. Uh, so June, I think she was originally uh, like a goth girl type character. And then, over, yeah, she had like a neck brace, and that's Colton, and that's Eric. Wow. Oh, yeah, in the series, piece of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, so these are the early sketchbooks for Air Rider. I might go into depth more one day on these, because that is literally crazy. Wow. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is like a little baseball sketch that I did. Okay. End of that one. Okay. Might not go through all these. I'll just speed run through some of them. But these were probably just... Yeah, these are all like... Yeah, this one had a different story I was actually sketching before. And this is when I was going through the... Um, uh, what do you call it? The Andrew Loomis books. And studying anatomy from those. And this is Pokemon. And I just watched One Piece at the time. I was getting into that. Saw like uh, Gear Second for the first time. And this is from another story that I was uh, planning. Yeah, this is all from a story I was trying to do called Biometal. And I was just practicing. Yeah, this is earlier. So it kind of goes in order. So this one's probably the earliest. This one's next. This one's next. And it contains Air Rider. And this one is the latest. Huh. Yeah, this is an even earlier concept when you had like a, a hood. But, wow, I didn't even think of that. That's crazy. Who's this? Ari Sawa Tomo. I don't even know who that is. Drawing that just went by. Yeah, even back then I was trying to draw weird spaces, kind of like a like liminal space, but I didn't know there was no word or term for it back then, so I was just drawing whatever. But yeah, that's the end of that binder. Let's go to the final boss. And I gotta move positions here a little bit because my back. Is hurting from the position. Okay, yeah, I first want to. What is it called? Notes, what are these notes about? Japanese notes, I think. Yep, yep. More Japanese study. But I guess I didn't do a lot in this one. Right. So, this is the first notebook. That I ever went through from the video called uh, My Manga Thing. And yeah, these are a bunch of sketches and stories. Manga training list. Goal pro quality in one year. I would write all these things down all the fucking time to try to um, set goals and um, master art in as quick and short a time as possible. I thought I could actually do it, but it just never worked out that way. Um, it took a lot longer to get the skills I was actually trying to get. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it took a lot longer 
to get to the skill level I was actually trying to get. Because I was reading stuff like Bakuman at the time, thinking, oh yeah, this would be pretty easy. I'll just get to pro level in a short amount of time and I'll be like those uh, Bakuman kids or whatever. But it didn't turn out that way. So, yeah, that's great. Okay. And then this sketchbook, probably one of the oldest sketchbooks I have. Sasuke and Donzo. It's got to be a spoiler, bro. This is probably from one of the first um, Shonen Jump manga in uh, America. Like the actual magazine that I had. And I was just studying it. So I'd open it up, try to draw something from there. This is from uh, Biometal, the guy with the metal arm. And yeah, more stuff from that. Oh, and this is from another one called Crow I tried to do. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. And this is a, <laughs> a separate one. This is my first or second main character. His name was uh, Saigo Nas Nakisage, and he was from, uh, he used to be my, uh, my demon or aunt. And a friend from a long, long time ago gave me this Naruto thing. And it's still alive in there. Cool. Okay, so this is my very first, my very first <coughs> ever shonen story, whatever, what have you, that I ever attempted. And it's called Starlight. I was starting to learn Japanese at the time, and I was about 12 years old. And um, I got 47 pages in to doing this. I just used my first sketchbook. It looked like this, but I just tore out all the pages using them to make this comic. Yep, table of contents. I didn't know how long chapters were supposed to be. This is my first page. June 16th, 2008. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah, he's, this is the main character. He's supposed to take out the trash. And then I think his sister tosses him out <laughs> to the trash. And then a meteor shower happens. And that's him trying to run to wherever he's going. Meteor shower happens. Um, or no, he throws the trash or whatever. And then... <laughs> Uh, then a meteor shower happens, and then boom, he gets powers, and he wakes up in bed the next morning, and now he's got superpowers or something. Whatever happens, I don't know. <laughs> Chapter two, and it's just a bunch of stuff happening. You know, figuring out how to draw. I was watching Naruto at the time, and this other show called Mershin Awakens Heaven on Toonami. And that's just uh, how I learned <laughs> how I learned to draw, aside from that other book that I showed you. And yeah, this mysterious guy comes out of nowhere, and they fight. He does like a bunch of punches, and he punches the main character in the stomach, knocks him out. I mean, there's. <laughs> Even though there's not much uh, in terms of, um, what would you call it, draftsmanship there, there's there's at least some basic understanding of storytelling, I think, you know. So chapter three, he finally makes it to school. The teacher's mad and throws him into a wall. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Okay, so... Man, I gotta read this one again. Uh, maybe I wasn't <laughs> as bad as I thought back then. Man. That's weird. And then they have a fight. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. There's a part where um, the main character, his name is Aaron, and he goes like Naruto foxtail mode or whatever and starts beating up this bad guy really bad. And all that. I just wanted to draw that moment so bad. Where he's just like beating the crap out of this guy. 
Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this part. Okay, okay. Where's this part? Um, Because there's a moment where he gets, like, he, he goes, like, Super Saiyan or something. Actually, I wasn't into uh, Dragon Ball Z back then. Um, oh, this is the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it's, like, he's, like, on the ground, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's about to stab him and then it snaps because then he goes super mode and it's just like oh shit oh shit he's in trouble now and then and then they're, they're all watching like whoa what's happening and then <laughs> he's got the stuff swirling around him like the powers he's like no i'll show you okay and then he's got like a little like tattoo or whatever that's when his power comes out and it's like a uh, Naruto or something. <laughs> and then little by little, it's just like, okay, now, now he's got like, he's gonna kick him. And then the guy, he can see his kick and he catches it. And then, and then what? Um, and then he just punches him in the chest and he falls and hits the ground. And then, uh, what else? Happened? And then they beat him somehow. I don't even know. The, the moment didn't work because he didn't even, <laughs> He didn't even really style on the guy. He just kind of did one or two moves and then lost. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's the old story I had. It's called Starlight. It's pretty dope. This is the back of the book, back of the story. Maybe one day I'll put it all online. But who wants to read that? Maybe uh, if enough of you say you want to read it, I'll post it. I'll scan them all in and then I'll post them online where you can read my dumbass story. All right. Um, so that was my first story, actually. Wow, that's a pretty good drawing of uh, these two. I was trying to really do it like, um, like uh, Shonen Jump from back in the day. And these were uh, manga or anime, like, or we were learning Japanese in this uh, Japanese class from my teacher. Her name was uh, Miss Maseri, and she was teaching us Japanese. Well, like, uh, there was a Japanese club, and after school, I would go there, and we'd learn that um, through these, like, packets and stuff, and she took us to a, a different library to go and see, like, my very first uh, anime movie, which was called uh, Origin, Spirit of the Past, and that movie was so dope that I still remember it to this day, and actually, uh, I want to rewatch that one. Uh, because it was just really good. It was, uh, it was a really fun movie. The, we had a choice between that and uh, Full Metal Alchemist Conqueror of Shambhala. But I'd never seen that show, so I chose the other one. Um, at the time. I'd never seen it at the time, so I chose the other one. And then I watched Conqueror of Shambhala later on. And that shit was sad as fuck. Uh, because the ending was sad. I was just like, dang. And even, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, uh, you'd also need context for like the rest of the series to understand it. So this was the second comic that I started that I never finished. And this was like maybe a few months after I finished the other one. And I felt like I graduated to uh, Bleach. I started watching Bleach and that's where I got the idea to do... Um, to start drawing like this and have like this cool girl come out of nowhere and she just has the powers the main character doesn't know anything about the world yet and yeah she comes out she's basically Rukia and then he's basically Ichigo but <laughs> that, that's how this story started and I never finished this one but it just kind of went on she had like this quote unquote cool weapon but I didn't know how to draw weapons I was just drawing whatever you know and yeah it would just be kind of like that over and over while i was trying to figure out how to how to draw and then she starts going to she goes to the school that he's going to and all that stuff and yeah that's, <laughs> that's what i used to draw okay so this next one is oh a ping pong match yeah i drew this ping pong thing for um uh, a school assignment where we were supposed to draw we were supposed to basically animate something 
for a Windows Movie Maker and make it into a movie. But mine was kind of shitty. It was just like this, uh, uh, what do you call it? A ping pong match, man. Maybe one day I'll scan these in and uh, and show y'all what, what these were, these old pieces were about. Yeah, okay, and this is the next story after that. This is the crow story um, that it did after uh, after that, and then I tried inking it, quote unquote, inking it with um, ballpoint pen. And none of that worked because I mean it looked better than uh, before, but I was trying to like level up a little bit, so I started quote unquote it. Um, let's see. Yeah. And this one was for a contest. I still couldn't draw that well, so it's just it's just whatever. And this one. Yeah, this one was for Biometal. That was the next story that I didn't finish. And yeah, all this stuff. Oh yeah, this was where like, I first saw like one piece and I got super inspired by a gear second. And this was for White Manga's old contest. They used to hold White Manga contest. Um, this was an entry I did, I think for the first or second round. I always lost in the second round of those, and that's why those didn't work out, but I like my entries. Yeah, that's Ryuzaki, Osamu, and why am I blanking on the main character's name right now? That's crazy. Ryuzaki, Osamu, and the main character guy. I drew them for the contest, and I think I lost on this one. I forgot. Let's see what else. Okay, this is uh, my character, another character from another story that's going to be in the far future. And this was probably the best contest piece that I did. For the white monkey contest. Uh, yeah. Yup. I went all out on this using every skill that I had at the time. Whatever perspective skill I had, which I had none, uh, whatever hand drawing skill I had, which I had none, all the color pencil skill that I had, which I had some, and I drew all the characters in the cast, or at least in the main cast at the time, and that was for uh, the contest, so I don't know, I think that one got me through a first round or something like that, and then afterwards, it must have been when I got into um, Yusuke Murata's work, I was trying to color like that, uh, this was for another contest, I used to draw for all these contests thinking that if, uh, if I just got picked for the contest, I would, um, that would be the beginning of my career or something. But, it doesn't work like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it for all the artwork that I had available. This is also in here. And this is a sketch page. But yeah. Um, that's all, that's pretty much everything. I still got other, uh, binders in the back, but this, this is the main stuff that I wanted to show you. I wanted to take a look back, see what was actually in these things. And I was very surprised to see that, um, that Air Rider was started so long ago, or I drew more sketches about Air Rider than I, than I thought I originally did. Um. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.